Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Eric. If you're new, please subscribe. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to put an inner CV boot on an axle for an Evo 10. I think this is a pretty common issue on Evo 10s, especially if you go with a wider wheel setup, that the inner CV boot on the axles tend to leak and they start slinging that grease all over your wheel well. If you watched my previous video uh, where I installed my transfer case, I'd mentioned when removing the transfer case that when pulling this thing out, I got a little frustrated with it and as you can see, it came apart. I ordered a new kit from MAP and I'll have that link down below. It's just the OEM Mitsubishi Inner CV Boot. This kit has pretty much everything that you need to do this. It comes with a new boot, some clamps and the grease and it also has the little clips that need to go in here as well. Next thing we need to do is take this thing apart. Now I'm not doing any sort of restore thing on this. Uh, basically just want to clean it up with some degreaser and put it all back together. good set of snap ring pliers. These things come in clutch. Cheap ones like this, man, they fall apart. That little pin that's right there pops out. It just makes the job way harder. So I definitely recommend picking up a set of those. Now that we got it all disassembled, you can see the joint right here. We need to clean all this up and then we can reassemble it with the new parts and pack it with grease.
cleaned up really well. Like I said before, I'm not trying to do a restore, so I'm not trying to paint this or anything like that. So now, we just gotta put this thing back together. So we'll start with the smaller one first. Get the boot on here, and then it's just gotta go to pretty much the little groove that is right here. Now that we got that set there, you want to make sure this thing, basically the tab is facing whatever the opposite direction that the axle will be rotating. Since this is the passenger side one, when I fold this over, I'm going to have it going back this way because it will rotate that way and nothing will be able to flip it open. Next step you want to do is take these pliers. Grab this little tab right here, and you want to make sure that this is sitting in the little groove, and then you pull it back. Just like that. So there's only one way that this thing goes back on, and it's basically this side here, where you can see these little grooves, and there's also a little indentation that doesn't allow this to go any further because it hits the end of the axle right there and it allows you to get that snap ring back in so first thing we need to do is get this thing greased back up and then we put this on here and get the snap ring put in place see can move around freely with no issues so it's good to go I ended up using different clamps on these uh, because the ones that come with the kit are pretty fragile uh, it's just like pressed metal and uh, yeah when trying to hammer it down I ended up snapping that so I'll put a link down below for these I got them off Amazon and uh, they work pretty well um, also these pliers that I used for clamping them uh, I'll have a link for that below as well that's gonna be a wrap on this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and was able to take something away from this. Uh, next thing I gotta do is throw this back in the car 
and I'm gonna have a video coming out soon on my carbon fiber drive shaft so be on the lookout for that uh, if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and like this video as well that definitely helps all right till next time guys